Hello, and thank you for joining us. Today, we are going to be building a topiary centerpiece. We're gonna start with, of course, some solo wood flowers, a few of our favorite types of filler, and we are going to make a beautiful piece that can be displayed in your home or at an event. You can pick whatever kind of fillers you would like. We have a few different options here. We have a container. We also have a round foam ball. The container, we covered the base in moss just to kind of give it a more aesthetically pleasing look. We're gonna start with our foam ball, make a little bit of a hole in it, and then we're gonna add a few stems in there. We will attach these stems with just a little bit of glue. Make sure they're pressed into the foam securely, but not too far. You just wanna make sure that you have a good length so that you really get that topiary look. Now we're gonna stick the stems down into the moss. And now we are ready to add our solo wood flowers. Here we have dyed our solo flowers a few different colors. You can use raw, you can use your favorite colors, you can do colors to match your wedding or the event. To attach the solo wood flowers, we're just adding a bit of hot glue and sticking it right to that foam ball. We are mixing this up a little bit by just kind of evenly spreading out our different shades of purple with our raw flowers. We are using a few different varieties of solo wood flowers here. We have some dahlia, some aurora, a peony. You can use your favorite solo wood flowers, whatever you would like. If you want our flowers with the bark still on them, those work amazing as well. We're just using a wide variety just to really give it a textured look. And we are just going to keep adding these solo wood flowers, covering all of our foam ball. We are also using a variety of sizes for solo wood flowers here towards the base where we're getting down to just that last little bit of foam showing. We're using a couple smaller flowers that are closer to the 1.5 inch size. Now that our foam is completely covered, we will reinsert the stems into our container with the moss. And now we are going to add little pops of filler throughout our arrangement. This will work with faux filler or preserved filler whatever you choose, whatever matches best with the event or whatever color scheme you're going with. We're using a few different types of just more natural colored fillers. spreading it out in between all of the solo wood flowers, evenly dispersing it throughout the entire ball. It'll just add a, that little extra pop that gives it the little special something and adds a lot of texture and it makes the arrangement really just aesthetically pleasing.
these little pops of green that we're adding in is our leather leaf filler. This is a preserved filler and we absolutely love it. A little bit goes a long way. You are able to break it down into smaller pieces to really get the most bang for your buck. And it just adds that little bit of greenery for us. No Now that you have your flowers and filler attached to your foam ball the way you would like it, we are going to glue in our topiary to our container. This will just ensure that it is not going to go anywhere, if it actually gets knocked over, or maybe you bump it while you're crafting. And now you are all set. Now here at the bottom of our arrangement, we are going to add just a little bit of filler just to give it a more kind of garden look. We have some of our boxwood greenery, a little bit of leather leaf, just a few different types of filler just to give it that really special finishing touch. And there is your topiary centerpiece. We hope you enjoy.